the plot thickens on Poonie Island. Poonie. Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, everybody. Hey, everybody. We are We're now back in, in the uh, text the adventure. Text, yes. Oh, I love oh. this. It, it was it was moments like this that really made me think of uh, Frog Fractions when uh, we Frog Fraction. Did I tell you about that? No. I could have sworn we talked about it in like episode one or two. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Frog Fractions is a game where it's like, oh, it's a game about frogs and fractions. Ha ha ha, mathematics. And oh. the entire time you have the means of, you, you're controlling this frog, like on this little like lily pad or something. And if you ever hit down, then you go under the water, into the under the surface of the water, and you have a whole different game to explore. <laughs> and you're like, this game is not about frogs or fractions at all. <laughs> And it's, uh, it's, you did mention that, and it's mind blowing. I love it, and I even I even included it in our uh, voting system to see if people wanted to watch us play it. It's an old game, but it's like it's a really great game, mm. and uh, like literally the next day, Commander Holly started a series of frog fractions, and I was just like, "Fucking!" <laughs> ah, every time Thanks, I think Holly. I'm being creative. It's all good. Um, but anyway, back to the actual game. Right. So we Pony we uh, fixed the we fixed the start menu. You oh, click the option. You click and the it, option, oh. and it beeps. But what did it do? Vavica. <laughs> Thank you for that, Kujo. Return. Oh, there it goes. The menu buttons hold such promise. Start game says one. Options says another. Credits says the last. As the credits fly by, you are filled with awe. One name stands out among the rest. You return to the main menu with a newfound appreciation for developers. The main <laughs> buttons hold such promise. So Excuse I wonder me. if that's oh. actually a oh. hint where it says one name stands out above the crowd. I wonder if when we actually see the credits, if we click that name, that uh, one name, I wonder if uh, we'll get a ticket out of it or something. Yeah. So let's uh, start this game. A loading screen appears. Luckily, it is a well-programmed loading screen. <laughs> it loads very quickly. <laughs> Oh, okay. Very quickly. The game is loaded and you are a pony. A beautiful sun sets over some perfect green hills. You feel the wind through your mane as you gallop across the grassy valley. Hark, a wooden gate approaches. Do you jump, shoot, or do nothing? Shit, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, poop. Poop? Is poop? Damn, we don't know. We can't crack this code. <laughs> oh, it actually doesn't trigger anything. That's curious. You leap majestically over the gate. But another gate approaches. <laughs> oh, dang. Do you jump, shoot, or do nothing? We gotta keep jumping. We gotta keep jumping. You clear the gate and land running. <laughs> but now an enemy approaches. Do you jump, shoot, or do nothing? We gotta shoot. Lasers pour from your mouth and fire at the enemy, obliterating it. Another gate appears. It looks like it might be a little too far away. Do you jump, shoot, or do nothing? You allow the gate to get closer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It looks jumpable now. <laughs> do you jump, shoot, or do nothing? You jump over it and feel smart for waiting. A tall, shimmering flag post approaches. Do you jump, shoot, or do nothing? Because I always do. Didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Your neck breaks when it impacts the flag post. Wow. It's okay. You're no longer that pony. An explosion of confetti announces your success. You gain 9 million experiences and reach level 1000. Surrender your soul now to enable graphics. I don't think I can open a portal here. Come back to the desktop. We'll try another one. So, okay, here's an interesting question for you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's absolutely zero challenge there. Yes. Now, do you think that's bad? I mean, it offers an interesting experience as far as the overall game goes. Well, we're approaching this game as though it's a stand, like a, a normal puzzle game with like no narrative with that with that question. I'd say that lends more of itself to developing more of the narrative than providing a challenge as a puzzle game. One hundred percent, I agree with that. Um, I did it. Well, it's not. It's did not. I get XP? It's, it's not. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a yes no answer though yeah. because do you think that having pure narrative in a puzzle game actually makes sense? Maybe that'll be our question if, of the day yeah, because that's kind of what this whole whole thing is. I remember that. Um yeah, I may remember that. So we're opening uh, Pony Island Meta. <laughs> meta. Oh. Um
It wasn't kidding. Watch this. <laughs> oh god, I love that so much. It's such like a like a you you developer. You you, knew what you, you were doing you person you. All right, let's go to Devil Island. Not gonna go to 3D. Oh, I'm saving the best for last. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. At least I think that. Well, maybe this is the right one. I, I think it'll still give us a chance. Proprietor. I think. Well, okay. Here's my theory about how this all works: is I think it's going uh. to have us. <laughs> uh. I don't like the black on <laughs> blue and red. I think it'll it'll have us continuously eyes. go through these until we've gone through all of them, and then yeah. our buddy's going to be like, "Oh, here I it can, is. I can do a portal now." Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, it just started. Oh, I thought I'd have to fix that start menu. Okay, you're you're just running now. <gasps> oh, oh I totally wings. forgot to do something. There was a secret back end on Adventure Island, um, or Adventure Mode that we could have done. Oh. Um, there's a little secret area that had we gone, we actually turn into a crusader. Really? Temporarily until we leave Adventure Mode. Weird. Um, but we we lose the pony body and we we take on the form of a crusader. It's very weird. Whoa. And it as far as I know, it doesn't do anything. You just like get it and you're just like, what is what what? Huh. Interesting. Um. So maybe if we go back and we play a little bit more and show off some of the secrets, if uh, you guys watching this want to see that, yeah. we'll uh we'll be sure to include that. Um. But yeah, it's it's pretty wild. Success. Success. Insert your soul or souls to play as the pony. This one isn't going to work either. <laughs> either. Either. Your only option is to keep trying. Okay. Although I'm curious. Oh, shit, I can't open nope. it. Man, I wanted to poke buttons. I think there was a ticket in there. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. This is where all the fun is. Oh, man. Sorry, Do you remember the name of that, that, uh, that file we found in Adventure Mode? B -b 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 -or. B -b -b -or. B -u -e -r. Yeah. Okay, good. Where? We gotta remember that. <laughs> Wait, when it says 3D, huh. is it liter Um Yeah, buddy. It's 3D, alright. Boom! Oh my Tough God. actin' to actin'. Options and help? What does it say? Credit Credits where credit where it's due. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, no okay. options. Let's just dive in. Boom. Oh my god. So. Huh. I guess my question here is are the control. So the controls are the same. Yep, absolutely. It's just in 3D. Whoop. Well, if I, it's in 3D, could you, like, deviate from the path or nope, no? Nope, he still is moving on rails. Okay. So it's literally so just it's the like graphics a, are. Uh, are Pokey snap? Yes. Or a rail shooter for those who want to use an actual. Rail term. shooter would be the correct term. I don't think the microphone picked that up, but my stomach um, was just like... For like... Oh, for solid several seconds. <laughs> that was a little... <laughs> but anyway, okay, so... <laughs> uh, I, I kind of want to go back to my earlier point. Yeah. So, I guess Pony Island meta, that one's really short. Yes. Um, the text adventure was reasonably long. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is reasonably long. And then I guess Devil Island wasn't really like that long. It was uh, maybe maybe they're all roughly about the same length, right? Yeah. Um, so I am opening the portal. So we it, it did kind of function how I thought, where it just this is it, my friend, the last core file. Uh oh. Yeah, buddy, get past the daemon and delete it. Good luck. Oh man, this one is fantastic. Oh okay, yeah, what's what's our time? Should we save this for the next um, episode? Right now. You know what? Sorry guys, it looks like we'll have to put this off till the next episode. Okay, yeah, so that means next episode is going to be the finale. Unless yes. you guys want us to go through the game again and, and kind of go through all the other secrets cuz there's a lot yeah, we have I I discovered. can definitely tell that there's a lot of additional content that we could totally explore if you guys want us to. Mhm. Mm um so yeah, okay, let's let's just go to the, the question of the day. Uh, your question was um, having the narrative be... Should, like should there, yeah, should there ever be a moment in a, a game like this, which is very much a, like, horror puzzle... Um, horror puzzle game, right? Um, should there ever be a moment in which it's just narrative, no puzzle? 
And I mean, we kind of, I, there, to be fair, there are moments where there's skill and not puzzle, um, which is very much like the pony island mechanics. Right. Um, so that, that already deviates from what I'm saying. Um, so I, I guess, I don't know, do you think that this whole moment where we went through the deleted files, do you think that it takes too much time? Do you think it's tedious? Do you think that the narrative justifies the experience? Or for some of those mini games, did we even get enough out of the narrative? Because even like Pony Island 3D, right? Like that one was interesting for what it was, but then after a while it was like, okay, you, yeah. I, I get it. Um, and to be fair in the defense of the developer in this moment, like really it only took us, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Not even a full episode to go through all those? Yeah. So. I, th- I think, you know, arguing that it is time-wasting might be a little much, but, yeah. and I'm not trying to say that either. I personally enjoyed it, but I'm curious to see what you guys think about that, because um, it's really the only part of this game that truly becomes just narrative. Yeah. I guess other true. than, like, talking to some of the, the characters, but even then, I feel like there's hints going on about oh, yeah. what, what everything else, so I, I don't know. Question of the day. Do you think that there should be narrative without puzzles in a game like this? All right. <laughs> well, in the next That episode. was a very breathy, uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> explanation of, of the question. But Well, feel free to uh, comment down below with your answer or your viewpoint, whatever you would like. And give and the video uh, a like if you've been enjoying this yeah. so far. That's one thing we don't actually uh, ask for very often, but uh, I, I, I did... I like, <laughs> I like to know if you guys actually are enjoying this because yeah. you guys are great at answering the question of the day. But uh, other than that, sometimes we don't know what you guys are actually enjoying or not enjoying. So yeah, feel free to let us know. Cool. Meantime, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Stay tuned for the finale. Yeah.